I don't sing and I don't have a piano. My instrument of choice as a magician is one of these guys. It's a magic wand. Most people don't know this, but magic wands are a symbol for the abstract idea of toolness, the means by which our non-physical minds affect physical reality. Uh, tools allow us to affect our changes more effectively than uh, empty hands and big dreams alone. As a magician, though, all I use my wand for is, uh, is to keep a coin. <laughs> I'm going to show you the world's greatest coin trick, but before I do, I need you to know this is a real coin. You look a little bit skeptical, Miz. Would you confirm that's a real coin for us? Wait. I bet that's a fake. Let me get your real one. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> that's another fake. My bad. I have a real one somewhere. Oh, that's another fake. <laughs> now, the problem with these fake coins, if you do magic with a fake coin, uh, people just go home and say, you know what? Uh, if I could buy a coin like that from the store, I'd never get a coin like that. And it's always that one. Woo! Doesn't come apart, no chocolate, right? Oh, very good. Watch that coin. <laughs> coin magic has two points. The first point of coin magic is that you can't trust your eyes. You <laughs> if you believe everything your eyes tell you, you'll believe a lot of stuff in the world that just isn't true. I should know I still believe a lot of it myself. Huh? Wow. Second point. <laughs> without money. But you all understand that. You're here at the magic castle. Actually, I just realized that's a fake coin again. It's very subtle. If you look closely, you see it's too big to be real. <laughs> Just the rubber coin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you gotta do. Oh. Well, I thought that was a rubber one, right? Yeah, that's, that's the metal one. Sometimes I wonder what it would look like if it was made out of nothing at all, but I really have no idea. I have to settle for using my imagination. Fortunately, I have a good one enough to share. 